Hmm. What interesting, cool look can I make with you? Hmm. Well, welcome back. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming back. Welcome. Come on, come on. Have a seat. Have a seat. I missed you. You know, I was just counting the time. So you come in. I'm telling you, I miss you. You know, you're awesome, right? You're just absolutely amazing. But today we'll be doing a neutral, a little bit of a dark neutral eye. We'll be using what we got in the boxing charm video that I posted not too long ago for the October 2018 on the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. So you're gonna see that you can do a neutral look on this, and I will demonstrate you all the products that I use on my face today. And remember to follow me on all my social medias at YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and even Snapchat. All has the same handle, at any blue singer, as well as my IMDb page, Any Lopez. And remember to push that little subscribe button and the notification. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm so excited to hear. I'm sorry, I'm just pumped. I am pumped. I need some weights. I am pumped. I don't know why when it's 10 a.m., but I'm pumped. And probably because, you know, I live in Houston, Texas. The weather's changed. It's 56 degrees. I can feel the warmness. I can wear long sleeves. Yes, yes, yes. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you in just a sec. Well, thank you for coming back. How are you? Now, today we're going to be doing a little bit of neutral, easy, touch of darkness on the crease with the palette that I reviewed in the BoxyCharm video. If you haven't seen my BoxyCharm video, I'll put it in the description below. But it came in there, and I love this palette, but there was issues around here. But let me show you how you can use it for your eyes. It's actually fantastic. I found a look that's nice and neutral, and you can use this whole thing, and you can't use it for travel. Because when you look at it, it's a lot of color. But let me show you technically the two colors that you need. And it's more obvious than you think. So if this mirror is a little bit in your way, I do apologize. I kind of need the mirror really close and personal for I can see what I'm doing or else I'm like, uh, and I can't do it. I don't know how Wayne Goss does it because a lot of the time they videotapes, it's like far. I don't know how he's able to see. And I know most YouTubers have, you know, a computer with a big monitor here and they can see what they're doing. I'm not fancy like that. I have a viewfinder. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't gotten to that costliness yet. So. If you've seen all of my videos, I always start with the eyes because I'm messy and I need to clean and it's just... But with these shadows, honestly, I can safely say it's safe for you to do your face because there isn't any fallout and you'd be safe. I just have a habit with eyes, so, you know. So, we're going to begin is on the eyes. So, we're going to take, in this case, a concealer. Like I said, I like to multi-use stuff because it's a lot easier. Actually, you know what? Let me take you just a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, there we are. Now you can actually see what's happening. So, I'm gonna put this all over the lid. And I use my beauty blender to blend it out. I'm actually gonna use the Just Peachy Palette Mattes from Too Faced, and I'm gonna be using Kind of like an E40, this is from Tarte. And I'm gonna use peach mango and peach butter. These two, I'm gonna mix it together. Cause I'm gonna be using both of these in conjunction with the look today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the look. Now first, I'm gonna be mixing Peach Cobbler and Peach Punch. I'm gonna mix them both together. I'm gonna use the same brush. Now, this palette, Too Faced did an excellent job on a matte. It is fantastic. It blends, it stays, it's absolutely fantastic. So if you're into mattes and you just don't have a good full matte shadow or you just don't really, oh, or you really need makeup, I would say this would be your first try because I think even beginners can work on this without too much difficulty. So this is fantastic. And so I'm gonna go over the crease just with these two colors. Also, this palette is good for like any skin tone. And as you can tell, it's like a warm peach, 
nothing too crazy. And you can do a smoky eye out of this. If you guys want a tutorial on how to do that, let me know, comment below. Okay, and that's all we're gonna use on the Just Peachy palette. And then we're gonna go to our True palette, the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette, which I think they need to adjust that because this, if you saw my Box of Charm video, just a clip version, this should not be for the actual face. It is too shimmery and too, mm, no, maybe like a little boop and something, but to blend, oh God, no, you, you'll see this disaster in that video. <laughs> you'll see the disaster, but I'm gonna show you what's beautiful about it. Today, we're gonna use this shade. It's called Enchantment. Beautiful, right? And we are actually gonna use this other color. I kept the little paper in there just for things won't get meshed. This color is called Sneak Peek. So I will use actually my Sigma E25 and I'm gonna go into Sneak Peek. Not much powder comes out of these, which is really amazing to me. And basically, you know how in the peach palette we did the entire crease? Well, this one, because it's a lot you know, smaller and more precise, as you can tell, it's like a straight line almost. I'm just gonna open my eye and just gonna put it right in the middle. You're not gonna go over like on top of these colors. You're gonna go just in the middle, kind of like a little sandwich of the lid in there. So watch. You see, I did that in slow motion for you to see where I'm precisely putting the brush and where I want the color. So I'm gonna keep adding some color in both eyes and that's all you're gonna do with the E25. Now, you see how nice and pretty that looks and it has a little bit of a divided, but you see how messy it's starting to look. So I'm gonna go back into Peach Cobbler and Peach Punch with the brush we used previously. I'm gonna go over everything just so we can blend in. Now see how nice and beautiful that looks, but you see how it kind of made the brown go away, but we do want the brown to actually be seen and have that, that divided. So I'll go back into the palette, go back to the sneak peek, and I do it again. <laughs> Okay, you see how that defined it some more? Now I'm gonna go back with this kind of E40 looking brush and I'm just gonna blend it again, no additional product, don't go into the peachy matte, just do it again. And then with no additional product, just go over it with the E25, don't go back into sneak peek, just do it again, just freaking darken, darken it up, just a tad. Now you're gonna continue with this, palette, but you're going to go to this other side. You're going to go into Enchantment, and then you're going to use a MAC 242. Sorry, the numbers are like almost gone. This is old. A 242, go into Enchantment, and you're going to put it all over the lid. Okay, and see how nice and sparkly and beautiful that looks, and oh, absolutely amazing. Then, I Me mean, personally, I go into the brows before I go into the brow bone. I'll be using, of course, the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie in Auburn. Now the brows are done and then I will continue with the pure palette and I'm gonna go back into this palette I'm gonna use a flat brush and I'm actually gonna mix exposed and Twilight like these two colors together are absolutely beautiful for the brow bow Asso. and then as you can tell it's a little bit messy but what do we do when things get messy? Blend. So I go back into that one kind of looking 840 brush and just blend everything in, no additional product. I like going over it just a tad with that uh, whitish, silverish color, just for it can work because I like things to just pop. Now, for the eyes, right here you can stop if you like but i'm gonna add an additional thing right here i'm gonna use black eyeliner 
because I like to have a little bit of that neutral smoky type of thing. So I'll be using the Marc Jacobs Blacker, Blacker. So I'm just gonna put it right here, right on the waterline. Oh, I love the Marc Jacobs gel pencils because they stay on your waterline and it's so smooth and you don't feel like you're tugging your eye. And especially they're so sensitive, you know? And then I curl my lashes. And today I'll be using one of my top five favorite mascaras, the Superhero It Mascara. And I'll put it all over my top lashes. I just love this mascara because you don't have to fight to get what you need and it just separates your lashes so evenly and it like really lifts my lashes not all day and glad not all day but it does lift them so I just have to keep curling throughout the day but really who has time for that you know but I love this mascara okay so that's basically it for the eyes for now you know me for now so let me clean this up and I'll be right back and we'll finish up the face then I'm actually going to finish up the eyes, actually. So I'm going to go and basically do the same thing that I did on top. We're going to do it at the bottom. So I will go back to that little pencil brush. I'll go back to Peach Cobbler and Peach Punch. Now, this is a little big for the under eye, so I tend to squeeze it and just put it all over my outer and my inner corner of the eye. best to use a pencil brush but sometimes you gotta use what you have and I'm too lazy to get up <laughs> and then I go to the pure masquerade palette and you guessed it I will be using the E25 and I'll go into sneak peek just like we did before and I'm gonna put it even closer to our waterline and of course I'll go back and pinch And then I go back to that E40 just to blend it in, no additional product. And then of course I use this 242 from MAC and I go into Enchantment. Put in tip as much as possible and I just rub it really close to that lash line. See, nice and beautiful. And then I will actually use the fat brush that we use for our brow bone. And I will continue to use this. I will put my brush into Twilight and put it in the inner corner. Then I will use my Kabuki brush that people, most people use for foundations, but I don't like it. I prefer just to blend it in. I'm going to blend in my makeup because then we're going to get into the highlight and I'm going to show you because it's actually a really cool product. Then the highlight I'm going to use, and I don't think I've used this on my channel yet, is from Milk Makeup. And I got the travel size holographic, which in all reality this isn't holographic because it's shifting of colors, but this is more like an iridescence. But this is how you use it. I tried putting my beauty blender in, no, it doesn't work. So this is how it works. So it does work over powder, just so you know, and I'm going to start putting it all on here. See how beautiful that looks? Oh, and then you get the beauty blender. You can use the butt and just help blend it. And you see how nice and shiny you made my face? It's like, bam, I love the iridescence and I know this is not for everyone. Just so you know, when you apply it, blend, like immediately right away, don't let it settle or else you're not gonna blend, you're just gonna have spots of iridescence on your face. Now, I personally have not tried all, like, Let's be honest, nothing from a makeup book but this, and I absolutely love it. And you know, it's a cute little travel size full up by it again, of course. But I mean, if you should try some milk makeup more underline and just see what I like and don't, because personally, I haven't tried it, but that.
absolutely amazing. Then when this is here, we got it all blended, we're nice and good. Now to lips. I'll be using the Anastasia, the minis of Kiss all over my lips. And then I'm use the other color and spice. I'm gonna put it just in the middle. Do that, it's a lighter color. I like using it right in the middle of it just for gonna have a little bit of pop. And then I'll be using the Anastasia Estella all over my lips because I like that juiciness. <laughs> And then of course, I won't stop there. Of course not. Then I will be using gold from Bite Beauty and put it right in the middle. And then that is all you're gonna be doing on the face. Then you use, well, setting spray. In my case, I'm using my favorite Glam Go Glow Setter, which I'm almost out. And I'm gonna put it all over the face. And that is the whole makeup look, how you can use a conjunction with the nail palette where you can create a nice neutral with a pop of tad darks but not quite smoky and you can wear all day like a nice neutral everyday look. So, so this is my complete neutral look. So thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And also, just a little reminder, I do have a water bar that plays throughout my whole video. It's that blue purplish thing, it should be like right there, right, right there so you know nobody wants to stop and push buttons if you put your mouse over it now it doesn't tell you how many subscribers i have but if you push you're automatically subscribed so remember i post every monday and friday around 11 a.m so thank you so much for watching and just one last reminder right now i am partnered up with johnson and johnson i will have all the information in the link below in the description and basically if you donate something it could be simple as five dollars johnson johnson will match it and it will help with their research and what we can enhance with people with autism and just better their lives in this close partnership with me do that i do have a family member with autism so i'm very involved what we can do to make things better so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and until next time to see you and hang out have a good blessed day have fun and remember i miss you and love you and thank you so much for all your support you don't know how much it means to me